Hello, hello, hello. So, just uh, wanted to do a quick game preview of Diablo 4. Of course, we know this is from Blizzard, and it came on Game Pass, which is what I held out for. I didn't really want to buy this game because I wasn't really sure what I would think of it. Me and the toaster have been playing this and been having a good time with it. As you can see, you kind of have to log in and wait for their server and stuff. It's kind of silly. It doesn't take too long, though. This is my necromancer, and we're... I think we're both level 35. And I'm playing just the adventurer part of the world. I'm not even participating in the season pass thing or any of that. I'm not doing the seasons at all. We're just doing the campaign. So every time you try to get into the game, you kind of have to hit this queue. So far, we've not had any problem. I have seen some players playing, but not a lot. Now, let's see. Where's all my skellies? All my skellies are not here. That's right. Okay. So this is when I just logged in. Let's just go out. We're just going to go kill some random guys, and I'll show you the basic gameplay for the necromancer now understand i'm playing the necromancer so you're not going to see anyone else's gameplay and of course i've just wandered around town well this is wandering around town there's different things to see and interact with a lot of like lore there's some people to talk to just take the breath you know again you, you may or may not we may or may not see any players it just depends Sometimes there's a, a few players, sometimes there's none. But I'm just going to go out here and kind of show you some of the action here. That's my big golem there. He's an iron golem. And once I kill a few people, once we kill a few people uh, or monsters or whatever you want to call them, we will be able... Oh, oh, it's locked. Now, you will find things like this where you can... Like, jump across. Oh, this is some kind of event. Okay, I'm probably not going to do very good because I'm going to be running my mouth the whole time during this event. But, let's try it anyway. It'll be kind of entertaining. Yes, die. Die already. I want to summon up some of my skellies. Right now, I can have a good number of skeletons. Let's see. Let's head down this way. Oh, here's some bad dudes. Good. To work, my minions, to work. And depending on your armor and skills, you know, you'll get different things. Like that little bubble pops up, and I'm kind of immune to damage for a few minutes, which is cool. Hold your ground. Oh, okay. Let me make sure. I got all my guys now. Okay, I have six warriors, and I have uh, three. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, I have three caster guys. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if we can do this. Be careful. Fend them off. Ah. So here we have a bunch of bad dudes that we have to fend off and kill. And all these different uh, minions, the skellies, they have their own abilities. And if you see me doing that right there, I'm kind of healing my uh, minions. The little priest pops up for a second. There's like a skeleton priest and he heals them. And that's always good, and I can heal myself, and I'm sure you're familiar with Diablo and the way the potions drop and all that. This is still very similar to the other Diablo games. Um, at least, oh, I should have gotten out of that. I've been feared. Anyway, still very similar to the other Diablo games, even though it looks, you might say it looks different. I feel like they have... Um, Going back to a pretty um, horror look, you know, more. The Diablo 3 was not as scary looking. Um, I still thought it was fine, and I know some people did not like it as much. But, um. Oh, get out of the poison. But, um. Anyway, I, I know other people didn't like it as much because of the 
It was not, I guess, not the same, not as horror based. It didn't feel like or look like it looked toony, I guess, more toony. Um, I personally did not mind that, but um, I admit this one has gone back to the more gritty horror looking thing, you know. And I'm not paying enough attention, I'm probably gonna get myself in trouble. Let's see if we can heal up my. My dudes a little bit. They probably need some healing. Oh, is everybody dead? Somebody's still... Oh, there's another player. Well, that's rare. I have not had a lot of players drop in on my action before. Me and the Toaster have been playing mainly on our own without any real trouble. Did we finish the event? Yes, we did. So, see, we finished the event. This is very similar to... Like I said, previous Diablos, I don't see this as being drastically different. This Necromancer is a little bit... You can play him... Let's see if I can say this right. The way I play him, I play him kind of similar to the way you would have played the Witch Doctor in the previous game. Now that's kind of how I play. I have my, my minions, I have my big guys and my little guys... And uh, all that. I don't know if this person is trying to stay with me or not. Anyway. Or maybe I'm just accidentally going the same way they're going. But anyway. Alright, Goober. I think he's born a Goober. Anyway. Dude, I I'm really not trying to play with you. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to go somewhere else. <laughs> anyway. Um... Is there any great differences in this one and the others? Well, it's online and there's people you can match up with. I think they went a little bit... Um, what's that game? Path of Exile? They went a little bit Path of Exile with it in that you can... Uh, you know, you can kind of hook up with some random people to play with and that kind of thing. So... Oh... Uh, okay, Barna Goober is still with me. Why is Barna Goober with me? This is not somebody I know, seriously, but they're just, they're level 12. Maybe they got lost. I don't know. Oh, we still can't open that up. Okay, so I'm just going to head back to town. Maybe I will teleport somewhere else uh, so that Barna Goober is not following us around because that seems kind of odd to have a stranger follow me around in our, in our um, recording. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't hurt anything. It's just kind of funny because I like I don't think they know that they're in my recording. So can we interact with the extinguished brazier? No. Anyway, there's a lot of little things. There's a lot of quests and side quests. If you hit your back button, it'll bring up this map, but also a menu. Now you can zoom out on this map with your right stick and you can see I have not, we've not explored a lot because it's me and the toaster. This, I don't play without her except for the exception of making this video. So we've not been everywhere. We have a quest to go out here. We've just kind of rampaged around almost randomly, but we are following quests, really. We really are, even though it looks like we've been totally random. We're following different quests. There's some dungeons we've done. Um, let's see. Does it show? Yeah, okay. It shows some of the dungeons. Um, I don't think it says that we did that. We did this one last night. It doesn't it doesn't really show that we've done it though. All right. Well, that's okay. Hmm. Anyway, we've done some dungeons. Maybe the ones with the little rewards, maybe those are the ones we haven't done yet. Because definitely we've done some of these. Like this one, I don't remember that one. I remember this one last night. Um, You know, it shows some different things. We're supposed to do something over here. I forget what it is. And then there's... I don't remember what this is related to. I think it's related to a quest. Definitely we have a side quest that we're going to try to do up here. Um, so that's kind of the map and that. There's collections. I haven't really paid attention to this. We're just playing for fun. Here's where you can invite um, different people to your game. Usually, see, I usually do the edible toaster, but I've got cross-platform on, so if you are on a different um, system like PC, you can still be invited. Um, but, the, you know, there's a difference. This is Xbox and this is this is other. 
And then, let's see here, you could search for players and... Oh, I think that's for your clan, if you do a clan. I started to make a clan. If we go to this tab, I'm using the right bumper at the top to go across these. You can create a clan, join a clan. We haven't really done anything with that. Of course, you have to have a shop. Nowadays, microtransactions, right? They have to sell you something. And don the mantle of history. We're not buying anything. We're enjoying the game as is. We're not going to buy anything, most likely. I'll say most likely. There's some add-ons you can buy. I don't know why I would spend money on these things. Um, none of them look... Uh, none of them really look that appealing. Um, and here, this is just saying buy the rest of the game. When they say, oh, buy the deluxe, the ultimate edition, the deluxe edition, that just means you didn't... You know, I'm not playing the whole game. I'm just playing whatever's on Game Pass, right? So I'm being a bit of a smart aleck, but that's still true. Anyway, Diablo 4 here on this menu. You can leave the game, credits, course, options. I forget what all options they have. Um, when I came in, I really didn't have to do much, so I didn't go through these options. You can see there's a lot of different things here that you can look at and mess with. And I think I turned down... Did I turn down some of my sensitivity? I do that a lot nowadays. But I don't remember if I did that this time. We haven't bought mounts yet. We're walking. And I think for our purposes, that's the way we want to play. Uh, when we find a new town, you know, just like in the old days, when you find a new town, you can you can get the teleporter or the waypoint. Yeah, you can get the waypoint, and then you can teleport around to different waypoints. Let me zoom out a little bit. Like, we've been here and there, and we can teleport to any of these. And, and we keep coming back here. This is your main town, from what we can tell so far. This is your main town. Um, we're just level 35, though. It goes to 50. I'll show you some of that real quick. Here's your character. If you click on the left stick, it will show you. Let's see. Can I look at profile? Okay. Profile shows you this. Um, I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. I guess this tells you the abilities I'm using, which I'm using mainly Shadow and Minions. That's my thing. I do have the Iron Maiden, which is that uh, red thing I throw down on the ground. It's a, like a big circle. It curses the target area. Enemies uh, take damage. Last 10 seconds, you know, eh, it's physical damage. It's good. But other than that, I'm doing Shadow and Minions and, and then that, so... That's the one unusual, or not unusual, but different thing that I'm using. Let's see, anything else, if you click left stick, you can see your currencies and your, what, your craftable materials. And you can tell we just kind of rampage and just pick up whatever. Um, now, outside of this, you know, you can look at your items, of course, and you can upgrade your items at the blacksmith, very similar to... Um, the previous uh, Diablo installment. I didn't see this. Might have to look at that. Anyway, if you notice up above my character's head, you've got the bumpers. Here I can change up my, my minions if I wanted a different golem or different mages or different warriors. Right now I like the defenders and the cold mages and the iron golem. Seems pretty good. Seems to be working for me. Then you have your skill tree, which they decided to do kind of a take from Path of Exile. Oh, I haven't increased this. Oh, I need to increase my Iron Maiden. Oh, how sad. You know, I jumped past it. I think I put points in it and then I forgot about it because I was trying to improve my, my minions. I need to come back and improve that. Anyway, so this looks a little bit like Path of Exile, but it's really not. It's still really... Diablo. They're just picturing it differently. So like here, I chose, this was early on in the game, you could choose your basic attack, right? Bone splinters or uh, hemorrhage. Now, this is the necromancer, so everything I'm talking about, but if you, you can relate this to the mage and all of them. So this is decompose, which I don't remember what that one's like. Uh, but I decided to go with reap, which really is just that sight that jumps out. And uh, did I put points into this? I put points here. 
Let's see, this was if an enemy hit by Reap dies, you gain more attack speed. So I don't think I really put any points in that yet. I don't know that I really cared that much about this, but I might decide to uh I might decide to come back and put points into that. So then on the next level, on your core skills, this is your basic attack, right? So this is your what they call your core skill, and you usually choose one of these. Now, of course, you can play the game however you want and choose anything you want, so that's up to you. But I decided to go with Blight, and I did enhance my Blight and make it paranormal. Woo! Anyway, it's shadow damage. I could have chosen Sever. Sever sounded interesting, but I decided to go with Blight. I kind of like it. Um, it's that black pool of stuff that forms on the ground. And then here is another skill, and I'll call it a... Well, they're calling it a corpse and macabre skill. And this, did I choose anything here? I have one point, but that's from my items. I'm not really using that spell. I chose nothing in this in this area. I, I did not choose Blood Mist. And I did not choose... I did improve my warriors. I did not choose the Bone Prison. And I did not choose that. So I did not choose these things. And I can kind of show you why in a moment. Basically, my... My mage, my, um, on, on my Y button, if you look down at the bottom to the left of the screen, on my Y button, that is my skeletal warriors and my mages. I have to hit that to summon them, or if there's a corpse on the ground, I can hit Y and it'll summon up the little priest and it'll heal them. It does heal the golem too. Uh, on the right bumper is Iron Maiden. On the left trigger, that's my golem. So I only have that. That's I, I can't put anything else there. If I take that off my left trigger, then my golem goes away, and I like having my golem. So anyway, so I came down here to what they call curse skills, and this is where I was picking up Iron Maiden. Your other option was Decrepify. Both sound good, and I forget, but for some reason I thought, I'm going to go with Iron Maiden. I don't remember why, but I did. So there you go. I'm not going to pretend that there was some great choice it was just a choice uh, that i made here we come down to again corpse and macabre and i didn't choose anything here i didn't choose the tendrils or the bone spirit you know i'm just i'm just kind of playing doing my own thing um i didn't choose to put any points in this um i should probably i don't know i, I don't care if it speeds me up i mean if it helps me kill that's fine i guess Anyway, so I didn't choose anything there. Instead, I came down here and I chose my Army of the Dead, which is kind of fun. I improved my Golem, and I have put some points into this, which helps my Skeletal Priest and healing my dudes and all that. And then for my key passive, which is the one thing you can choose one of these, I chose this just to help my minions out. So there you go. That's probably more than you wanted to know about my choices this is my first time through the game. We just decided to play, and I didn't pay close attention to any of these choices. I just made choices, right? And you can make fun of me if you want, but we're just playing, having a good time. I don't care. So we were just having fun. That's the way we both decided to do. Let me go somewhere else. Maybe I won't run into anybody. Like here, there's a quest there, but I don't want to do that without the uh, toaster. I would like to go somewhere and just do maybe, what's that? The Darkened Way. What is that? Hold on. Let's see. There's a dungeon near here, isn't there? Maybe that's what I should do. I should just go down here and do this dungeon. Can I not mark it on my map? You can pin it. Hmm, I'm not sure pinning does what I want it to do. Well, okay, there's a dungeon here. Okay. Tell you what, let's go here. I apologize for being a little wrongy or just kind of all over the place. But the idea for me was I wanted to come out here and do a dungeon. Okay, so let's go over there. We'll make our way over there and do a dungeon. Okay, so let's come out this way.
Oh. See, that's my black, that black stuff on the ground. And then this, that's the Iron Maiden. I didn't even, I didn't, sometimes I don't even have to do that much. My guys will do a lot for me. And then when the toaster's with me, she does a lot too. So a lot of times it's not necessary for me to do a whole lot. But with my reap, I have a good reach, which is good. Um, let me check my map. We're just there. Oh, okay. Let's head this way. Pardon me, I sneezed, and my guys killed everything while I sneezed. So, see, it's good to have minions. Good to have minions that are watching out for you. But yeah, I, I sneezed, so sorry about that. I, I'll try to cut that out, but uh, if I mess up and don't, then I'm sorry. Somebody's no longer, that's because I'm supposed to be doing a quest for that person, I'm sure, and I'm probably just not doing it right now, and that happens. Uh, just like your town portal will go away if you wander off and go other places. That doesn't really bother me. Oh, well, nobody there. Found a little ring. Woo! Let me check. I want to make sure I'm getting us where we need to go. Let's go down this way. Oh, guys. This is a problem. The bad guys out here are getting away. I just want to make a quick trip to somewhere. And, of course, I have bad guys all in the way. Oh, bite berry. You might as well gather this stuff up. As near as I can tell, there's nothing preventing you from uh, carrying all of that crafting and potion stuff that you want. And you, you only get... Um, potions work a little differently in that you start out with only like four and you have to go to the uh, alchemist to actually improve your potions as you go through the game. I don't really have a problem with that, but I mean, that's just, it works a little differently than some of the other games. I think in Diablo 3, we ended up with just one potion that had a cooldown and was reusable, you know, infinitely. Uh, so it's a little different. You do gather more junk here, um, but the way they've rigged it so far, it hasn't been annoying. Just like the crafting has been very minimal. And I can handle that, so I don't mind that so much. I don't have to pay a super amount of attention to it. Because, as we know, I'm not big on crafting. That's, that's just not me. It's the way I am. You can still bust a lot of stuff up in the world. See, like that. Let's see, where are we going? Okay, we're heading up that way. All right. Still going to take us up to that dungeon up there, just so we can do something a little entertaining for you, and then we'll call it good. Because this is still the good old same action that we've seen before. Um, I think I like this reasonably well. Now, I'm not big into, like, in-game grinding and all that, so if there's a lot of that to the game, I may not like it. But as far as leveling and playing through the game as just a good little action game, so far we have enjoyed it and it's been good. Who is this? Oh, well, I'm Maybe sorry. No I don't. I can't even pick up any more side quests. I don't think I showed you side quests. I'll show you quests in a second. Because, um, you can only have like 20 side quests. And we were focusing on the main campaign, so we didn't do any side quests. And... Um, so, of course, we filled up, and that didn't do much good, you know, um, as far as we haven't done many side quests, so that's just life. But if, anyway, you have five potions, so if you see one laying on the ground, go ahead and take one, and then let that, that one laying on the ground fill you back up. It's just kind of a little, a very minor tip you would have figured out on your own in five seconds. But nonetheless, I will mention that. So this is the dungeon. All right, so let's jump into the dungeon here. Hopefully this won't be too big. You get these cutscenes that show your character. I decided to go to the wardrobe. They do give you a wardrobe where you can effectively make your character have a certain look and feel. Uh, it's not perfect, of course, but it's okay. So who we got here? Oh! 
Bad dudes, bad dudes. What you gonna do? So I have a bit of a reach with my reef like that, so I try to stay behind the big guy as much as I can. Not always possible. See, there's my priest. Oh, wow, that was a miss. That was a solid miss. I can cast it more, but I find I don't really need to. I find my guys take care of everything in front of me pretty good. You can still bust stuff up, of course. That's part of the fun of the game, right? And my reap has a good reach to it, so... It's one of the reasons I chose it. I should play around with some of the others, but if you change your mind on your abilities, it, you can redo them, but it does cost you some money, so... Oh, poison. I hate poison. Good, my mage is frozen. Oh, I hate poison. I grab that. Get around the poison a little bit. Did they not leave a corpse back here? There, that'll heal my guys a little bit. Oh, another dude. Those caster dudes can be pretty bad. I find the poison ones to be the worst, though, honestly. All right. Oh, look at those guys there. Oh, who's this? Oh, wait, let's get these guys. Yes, you will notice I take some damage, and I don't shy away from a lot of it. I just go ahead and live with some of it. And I will use a potion as needed. Let's get that guy in the back there. That was just rude. Okay, let's try to get rid of that guy. And that guy. Sometimes it's such a crazy mess that it's hard to tell. See, I'm I'm down. I'm low a potion. I should grab this one real fast. Okay, so I'll try to heal my guys up a little bit. It doesn't seem to cost me anything to do that, so I do that quite a bit. Oh, vampire bats. Okay, so that's a dead end. Let's move on. Yeah, my guys look pretty healthy. Usually, you only get four of the warriors, but I have an item that gives me two extra warriors, so... Oh, wait, what's this? It's a lost pack! Oh, wait, pick that up, man. Okay, take this guy out, guys. What are y'all doing? Oh, it's a scrap of paper. You still get the little stories and stuff, so... Resilience is the world animals. I crave I crave! I don't even... We don't even pay that much attention. We're just playing the game, having fun. So, I, that's what I'm used to doing now. Um, we watch some of the cutscenes, and you'll see some shorts. I'll probably put out a few little shorts of maybe a few cutscenes, or maybe some of our action where we're playing. But, uh... Oh, there's somebody. He's the boss. Okay. I would appreciate some help over here, dudes. Help me with the boss. Oh, oh wait. Let me get out of that. I don't know. Where did the boss go? Did we get him? <laughs> I'm like, did we get him? Obviously, we did, which is good. All right. So, okay. What else do we have here? Um, collect animus from animus carriers. I don't really... Oh, I forgot to show you the quest. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can show you our quest. Oh, the quest. The quest. Well, okay. Hold on. We got an action. We have to take here. Oh. Mark him out, guys. Come on, he's an animal scanner. Get him, get him, get him. Good job. Let's get out of that stuff. I don't think that's good for us. Oh, more bad things. Anyway, I keep meaning to show you the quest and I get distracted. So I apologize for that. Okay, let's stop here. Come back here, guys.
I'll bring my guys back. I think sometimes they attract bad guys, too. All right. Your quest. When you hit the back button and you come to the map and all this stuff, you'll notice on the right, there's that tab, and you can pull it out with the D-pad. This is where you can see your quests. This is, this is just like all quests. This is the campaign. This is priority quests. I'm not sure why that's a priority. Um, I know my necromancer quest was here, and uh, the toaster's playing a sorceress, and and uh, their quest was there. And then this is the side quests I was talking about, and we've we've decided we're going to work on some of these. Hopefully today, we're going to work on these um, side quests because we have so many. And you'll notice there's a button down there to reset your dungeons. Like, I guess if you've gone through the game and you've cleared out all the dungeons, you want to be able to do them again, you can reset it. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe you use that if you want to keep farming one particular dungeon for something. I don't know. Haven't gone that far into the game. Um, let's go ahead and finish going up here. A barrier has been dispelled. Okay, this does not sound good. I'm just going to say, anytime in this game that a barrier is dispelled, there's trouble coming. I just want you to know that. He moved. There. Oops, we got another one up here. Okay, anybody else? And if you, oh, if I'm in this bubble, I'm immune for a few seconds, so I'm going to try to stay in it. They're not, but I, hopefully I'm not losing any of my guys. They do give you a count of your minions down below, so if you watch, you can keep track of how many minions you have. I should always have six and three, and then the big golem, of course. But, uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay, I don't see anything here. Slaughter. Oh, slaughter. This is going to be like one of those event things. No, maybe not. Okay. What's a stone? Okay, that's this. Okay. Oh, guys. I'll just always bring the fun. There we go. Let's see what we got here. If you just try to pay attention. The graphics is so much better in this, and they do try to highlight things with red, but sometimes it's easy to miss things. Because everything looks pretty good like it should. It looks like it belongs. And so it... Oh, well, okay. He died before I got here. Oh. We'll see. They... My minions are on the job. They're doing their job. We should get those gloves there. There we go. Oh, you dirty dogs, you. They're werewolves. They're supposed to be dirty dogs. So what's this? The prisoner remains. Okay, I'm already at full life. You'll notice me testing that sometimes. Let's see. So, okay, everybody's healthy. The ghouls! It's the groovy ghoulies. Some of you will know that reference. I, I don't expect everyone to always know my my old man references, okay? It's alright. Okay, that's a dead end. It looked like it might go somewhere, but then on the map you could tell. Let's, oh, this is another guy to lay to rest. Poor dude. Here, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Is this a dead end? I suppose it is. Okay. But uh, nearly everything, like in the old game, you know, the old games, it just, you know, spits up money. My guys are busy working for me here. Chalky chalk. Oh. Just going with the flow here. <laughs> Trying to get all my loots. Done. Make sure everybody's okay. Did I miss any? 
thing back here. Oh, I didn't get that potion. Do you see that? I'm still down one potion. I wasn't fast enough. That's okay. I forget to use the, the B button. I think our dodge used to be on the left stick. And that's what I catch myself trying to use. But it doesn't work. Because dodge is now on the B button. Which, I don't think it was on the B button in the past. And that's been confusing to me. I should stay out of any red circles on the ground. Unless it's mine. Which that big one there is mine. So that's okay. Alright. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it's just some white junk. We'll take it. I'll break it and do all the normal stuff. Oh, is somebody on us here? Who's here? I have so many minions, sometimes I don't see. There'll be like one stray bad dude, and I won't see him because I have so many minions. <laughs> it's pretty funny in a way. I don't mind. That's not a bad problem to have when you have a lot of minions. Oh, is this a dead end? Okay. It's a dead end. Oh, dude. There we go. Get away from that stuff. That poison is not good for you guys. I keep telling you. Alright. Everybody's healthy. Let's head on back. Okay. See, each dungeon has its own little activities. Like, I'm supposed to be freeing these prisoners. Which I have not been doing a good job on, as you may have noticed. My blight, it does immobilize some people and do some different things. I need to go back and strengthen up some of my spells, like my Iron Maiden, that spell. Oh, the flashlight. We call those the flashlight. They, you know, they always have some special ability they give you. And we call them the flashlight because it puts that light up over your head. And it looks like this one, I didn't read the description, but it looks like it's it's really letting me cut loose a little bit. Where are we going? Oh, there's a prisoner. I should not. Oh, wait, did I miss a prisoner back yonder? I think I did. It looks like there's above the flashlight. It looks like, yeah, there's a prisoner. Here we go. There we go. That was my mistake. What's the, I forget the real name of this, but we, we call them the flashlight. It's kind of fun for us. It's, you know, it's one of those goofy things you do when you play together. Sometimes you name things a certain way. Um, and that's what you go with, even though you know that's not really the correct terminology that everyone else uses, but that's what you use. And it's just fun. So. Oh, I have slayed the werewolves. Woo! Let's see, anything else here? Here's some dudes. This is one guy, actually. Okay, let's see, anything here? Not really. Now, my Y button also summons up my guys if, um, like my skeletons, if some of them die in combat. Let's go up here. I think I was up here before, but I didn't release this prisoner. Yeah, see, I, did, I didn't see this guy, so I didn't release him. Oh, here we go. It's on now. It's on, like Donkey Kong. Here we go. Everybody, die, die, die. And it looks like I completed the thing. Okay. So there you go. That's me just playing through for fun. Just simple, nothing fancy. Um, I don't really... Y'all know me. I just play and have a good time. It's not really... I'm going to stay in my bubble. I'm protected. I'm in my bubble. Did not come into my bubble. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's probably not good for me. Guys, I keep telling you to stay out of that stuff. My dudes don't listen. It's the resplendent chest. We did catch a uh, treasure goblin, and I think that is the correct term for him as well. We did catch a treasure goblin or two. Uh, the first one or two we ran into, they look a little different, but they, they fit this game. They're still glowy, and you can still... You, you just have to meet one 
to understand what I mean. It looks a little different than it used to, but not bad. Not bad at all. So, and the treasure goblins are fun because you have to chase them down and try not to have everything else in the world kill you while you do that. We're done with this dungeon. What's the worst the way out? Way down yonder? You know what? I'm going to do the town portal. I'm just going to get us out of here. And this has been... It's kind of been a game preview of Diablo 4 for the Necromancer. So, is this been the most illuminating? Maybe not. But if you like this style of game, and you know, the Diablo style of game, or Path of Exile, or whatever you want to call it, then I think you would like this upgraded version. Now, again, I can't speak to the end game, which a lot of people talked about and it sounded kind of bad. I don't care about any of that because, honestly, I don't play the end game. I don't like the daily grind and all that. That's something that's always drove me crazy with WoW and with other games like that. I was really worried when they said this was going to be online and there was going to be a lot of other players in the game. I really worried this was going to be that kind of game, and I don't want that kind of game. Uh, I want Diablo to be something me and the toaster can sit down and play. I don't really care for having other people in our game. I just want to be able to, us to be able to play and enjoy the game ourselves. And and so far, we've been able to do that, and like we don't see, like we saw a player here just a moment ago, but we don't see a lot of other players. We get to play. When you come to town, that's when you usually see the most players, because everybody's coming to town. And in that, it reminds me of Path of Exile. The only time when I was playing Path of Exile that I would see other players was in town. And I'm okay with that. But unless I join their party or they join my party, I don't want to see a bunch of other players running around in my world where we're trying to uh, do a quest and, and have some fun ourselves, right? So that's just me. That's the way I like to play. And so far, this has been really good. I might do another playthrough or something in the future and you know talk some more about it when we get deeper into the game. You can only go to level 50, and we're at level 35. So, And we've only really been playing a few days. So we've really kind of raced through the leveling part of the game. But that's okay. It's It's been fun. So we'll see how the end game goes when we get there. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later. So I want to acknowledge these people who directly support the channel. I really do appreciate that. And I really do appreciate everyone for watching the videos and interacting. This has been a How That's Marsh Production. Yeah.